right, so we have one last question on this page before we're done with it. And it was, what is the probability that a giraffe weighs exactly 2,100 pounds? Trick question, it's zero, right? Again, that word exact is talking about the line that's right there at 2,100. Well, the line doesn't have an area, therefore it doesn't have a probability. So if it said 2,100 to 2,101, that would be different, right? But it doesn't say that. It says 2,100 exactly. That's zero. Again, continuous distribution, distributions can't do exact. All right, so now, what do they want us to see? Oh, okay. So remember z scores right here. We had that formula from chapter three. To find a z score, you take x minus the mean and divide it by the standard deviation. It figures out how far you are from any one particular mean, right? So for example, if your mean was 20, well, I'll do it right down here. So, so put, let's look at the 2100 again. So the mean for giraffes was x minus u divided by sigma. Okay, so we're talking about 2100, but the mean was 2200, and you divide it by the standard deviation of 200. That's negative 100 over 200, which is negative 0 0.5. There you go. That's your z-score. Now, take a wild guess. What's the area to the left of that z-score on a standard normal curve? So if you had a standard normal curve, pretend this was one, then where would that z-score fall and what would be the area? Well, let me go draw it for you. Hold on. All right, there it is. I just drew it um, with my program. So here's the negative 0 0.5, and then there's the area to the left. And so the question is, what do you think the area is to the left? Now, I know we're going to find it with Excel in just another page or two, but what must it be? And the answer is that it's got to be 0 0.3085. I mean, is what we're doing here with z-scores really any different than what we were doing up here? answer is no it's it's all the same graph right the advantage of the standard graph is that it works off of z scores so it's standardized it's it's always the same no matter what whereas the normal curve up here changes from problem to problem are you talking about whales or people or trees or whatever so every normal distribution has its own curve the standard curve is always the same that's what makes it standard instead of looking at individual scores you look at z scores instead in that case, the mean will always be zero. The standard deviation will always be one, and so on. Right? Now, the real question now is, where the heck did that 0 0.3085 come from? And how could you make it so that a computer gives that to you? right? And especially if you don't own Advanced Grapher. I mean, Advanced Grapher will tell you, this, this program will tell you that it's 0 0.3085. But I mean, who wants to own that? Nobody, right? So we want to use it. Um, Excel to find that number and that's what we'll do in the next section in 7.2. So I'll see you then.